Well, let's start with your girl Jupiter here for the here for it, baby. Them soulmate after dark tarot. <laughs> you guys, thank you for clicking on the video. Thank you for so much showing the support, the love. Thank you for all of that. Um, remember, these energies are very interchangeable. So please take what resonates, leave the rest, leave it all. Use for entertainment purposes. Live your life. I hope you guys are being your positive affirmations that you want to see in yourself and the world and others every day. Um, be that shit. Y'all know that. Also, um, there are explicit images on these cards. So if you are under the age of 18, please click on another video. You can go check out my Cardamancy videos where I just use playing cards. And uh, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta leave it. You gotta get, get, gotta get the fuck up off of this page. <laughs> got to get it, get it, got to get it. So yes, you guys, let's get into this. Let's get into this. Now, I want to do something a little different with this soulmate. I want to pick up the energies of my viewer more than more than the person that you want to this motherfucker about to go dead my bad you guys my my motherfucking y'all can see me all right yeah battery about to go dead so let's hurry up and get it <laughs> hurry up and get this one out so last night diddy keisha cole I couldn't get an answer. I tried to call, but my pride wouldn't let me dial. What'd that be like? What is it? What does that be like? <laughs> mm, got to get it. Got to get it, get it. Hmm. Got to get it, get it. So, you guys. Hmm. You, um, y'all and y'all's feelings. Yes, I just laid these cards out to, you know, this is for my feminine, my feminine that's watching, my person who's just watching, period. This is for you guys. Y'all pulled them on. I think y'all thinking about... You know, you, you're kind of reflecting on your journey. you kind of thinking about how far you've come in the situation with this soulmate. You imagine what it would be like for you to be this person's wife, for you to be living with this person. You imagine what it would be, would it, would it, I mean, some of you have lived with the, this person. You were maybe engaged or you know you went as far as trying to make it as official as possible and it didn't quite go all the way through so there's a sense of imagining something or dreaming about something um confused as to why something didn't really work out why it didn't really go the way you thought it you pretty you was pretty sure that it was gonna go a certain way and it didn't go that way so with the four you want to have some type of agreement with this person. You want this. You want intimacy. You want. You want to make love. You want this motherfucker to do some nasty shit to you. You want them to throw you up on the tabletop, desktop, countertop, bed top, shit floor. It don't matter. You you trying to get laid up somewhere with your legs open, laid 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 out, <laughs> with one of your titties popping out your shirt. And when and you let and then and it's just crazy, you know. It's one of them crazy like hair pulling, and I'm talking about you pulling your own shit. <laughs> you want that shit? You ready to get done up, done in and done up? Okay, you are the queen of water, so you you're thinking about your emotions. You're thinking about being a a wife to this person, being this person's you know supporter uh uh cheerleader and you know like you would nurture this person you would love this person you would take care of this union like you you're you're serious about it you 
are very receptive to being maternal or being um, submissive or you're just ready. This is that I'm, I'm ready. I, you know, I ain't trying to be all out here like that. I'm ready and I deserve. So the song is um, Hold Up by Beyonce. Hold up. They don't love you like I love you. Yeah, so it's, it's it's a bit of that energy of like, of you just kind of still, like you want this person, of course. You want to be with this person. Y'all want to be with this person. We ain't here to look at the soulmate for nothing. Y'all want to be with this person, of course. So let's see what they, how they feeling on top of your emotions, on top of your feelings. I want to get bucket naked on the furniture. Six of Spades and the Six of Hearts. So all this person can do is think about how you are, or 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 so you're supposed to be their wife, or I don't know. This person definitely wants to have that with you. So, anyways, while you're while you're in this thought process of thinking, you know why something. You know, just trying to dream and, and imagine being with this person. They're definitely feeling... It's like your thoughts of dreaming and thinking about the person that you want to be with. And, you know, you think about them just as much as they think about you. Y'all think about each other in the same way. Like, they have the tennis space, so they have this sadness while you're, you know, thinking about them being in pain being negative about the connection being able to come out of y'all's difficult time like you're not talking to this person this person is feeling lonely but they're not willing to really let you know they don't really want to tell you they don't want to show you that they're as hurt of it as they are they feel like there was a misunderstanding of course you they you you're thinking about them sexually and then they're just kind of like this person is they they they're, they're fucked up over the energy that that you know you're thinking about them in this sexual energy um and they they're kind of looking at the the they this person is not thinking about sex. This is one this is a soulmate that's not thinking about the sex part of it. They are thinking about how much they fucked up and they they ain't, they ain't gonna think about some sex that they ain't gonna get. They thinking like this person in particular, you guys, I don't like this ain't this ain't all the soulmates now, because I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't be able to <laughs> Come on now. But yeah, this is definitely like this person is feeling they feel fucked up. They feel fucked up. I'm back and I'm better. I want you bad as ever. They want to communicate. They want to solve this issue between you two. They feel like y'all both can transcend to another level. Y'all can y'all can turn y'all's problems into uh, triumphs and, and overcome it and be with each other and be successful in the relationship that you guys know you would have, the harmony that you know you would have. This person is just... They're like... This, okay, I didn't see this. I'm sorry, guys. You deserve what you've been missing. 
So this is the tent. This is the moon. This is you guys. And then still their card. Now, if you can see in this moon, y'all got, you guys, like, this is the same. If I didn't finish that, but this is the same scenario. It's the same. This is a man and a woman kind of floating off to the moon. And this is a woman standing back looking at the, looking at the moon. It's like the same era and time. Like, the clothing is the same. But this person, like, you guys are both emotionally connected. So your feelings is his feelings and his feelings is your feelings and vice versa. But when you think about certain things, it kind of it's like this psychic connection that you guys have or that energy connected like you guys are connected. You guys are one. So you are throwing you he's throwing you into being feeling like when he when when he started feeling nostalgic and sad and just you know fucked up about it, you probably you might it might spiral you into feeling a little like, you know, about like sex or something. Like, you know, being with this person and pulls you it pulls your energy to energy to be a little horny for this person or to be thinking about the person. This shit with the retrograde coming up and the or the new moon coming up and us being in the retrograde, this is definitely you know, we get a retrograde like every forty some days, so it's just some old every month type shit where this if there's this moment in time where you guys are heavy in each other's energy. So you could be coming off as more of a masculine energy and he could be coming more off as a feminine energy. But either way, you guys are, you're connected more than you know. When you thinking you have your, your thoughts are your own, they're not. And that's, it's kind of scary. <laughs> that's kind of scary. I ain't gonna lie. So... Yeah, that's about where I'm going to leave this at. They daydreaming about you. Night dreaming, daydreaming. They pray to God for you. They pray for this connection. They pray for it to come together. They they feel like they have to go to something that's greater than themselves. They they can't do it. I don't I don't know how to come up out of this situation when you thinking about this motherfucker face down up in your shit it makes them go into this very sad phase of I'm not gonna be able to be with her again I'm not gonna be able to be with him again He he's saying I can be better for you I, I will be better for you I see you as the queen of water. I see you, I see you as my queen. I see you as what the definition of love is to me. Every time I think, I think about you. Anytime my thoughts can have a moment outside of me trying to fucking ignore this shit, I think about you. It's, it's a haunting for them. It's not a good, it's not, I mean... The memories are great, but it, they, it throws them into such this lower f energy of just sadness and, like, what did I do? Despair, like, feeling hopeless. So, anyways, this song, I keep hearing tanks in the back talking about I can be better for you. I know I ain't close to the man you need me to be. But I can be better for you. So I feel like that kind of fits. Like, I don't know. It's like in these readings, we keep hearing that they working on it and they, they're scared. It's like, I don't know if they think. I don't know. The pressure that this person feels to, to be better for you and to be a better person to you. If it if it's not effortlessly like you know they can't do that shit effortlessly then 
it might be something that this person continues to struggle with. You know, being better for you. I mean, I done seen it all. I done seen the motherfucker be like, I'm going to be better for you. I done seen a person cry on, on their knees. Like, I'm, 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 I'll never do something again. I'll, I'll, I fucked up. Like, you know, they admit it. They, they, they change for a little bit. It's that small narcissistic ass shit where they change for a quick second. They, you know, they, they're able to kind of hold this stance until they feel like you're not looking or whatever. The, the, the demeanor of this person, this type of person never changes. Like this, I'm talking about a whole type of whole, I mean, I'm talking about a whole person and shit outside of this person now this don't have to be your person but the point of me and this the song and my spread i feel like this person can give off like they want to be better they want to change they want to treat you better but it's like if they're if they're not prepared to do to to have made all the changes that they were gonna make before they come into you, then this person could still not be serious about what it is that they want, and it may take a whole new a whole another person for this person to go through, and and learn their lesson again off of, and sometimes it take that. Now y'all gotta think: Am I willing to wait another two years for this motherfucker to have possibly a couple babies? And then I'm supposed to get the, the beat down, broke down, fucked up part of him or her after motherfuckers done used them up and they done gain more trust issues and more problems. They live life, y'all. They live life like like we do, like normal people. Like they out here living their life. They they see something that they're interested in. They think about a whimsical love story too, just like you do. They think about somebody caring for them and whatever. Although you're like, uh, here I am. I've been caring. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> this person is like, shit, I'm I'm just living my life. It's it's what it's what you forget to do. It's what we forget to do. We forget to live our life because we're so wrapped up in this connection that the you know you feeling all of these energy pulls for you're not here for no reason i know y'all motherfuckers ain't crazy <laughs> i know i know people in y'all's life probably treat y'all like y'all a bit you know crazy or obsessive or whatever but i know y'all not it's the energy and if you don't believe in that shit you're not gonna understand that shit but it is real you it's no it's no coincidence that you just a motherfucker just pop up and just consume your whole thoughts but it is your fucking job to make sure that you don't stay in that energy and you push that shit back out to where it need to be so they can deal with their own shit and you dealing with yours. And it's not, you know, it's not a ploy that everybody's like, oh, you know, you want to do things that make you feel better about yourself and you want to try to forget them. Because that's what it's about. It's about if it's about consuming your energy with things that are going to distract you completely to, to kind of intercept the energy when it comes in because the energy will always be there to kind of haunt you in the back of your mind no matter how busy you get but once you get overwhelmed busy <laughs> and that's my own that's 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 a tip honey that's a tip for y'all when you get overwhelmed busy you'll have those slither of a moment like the slither of a second where that person pops in your mind and you have to push it out because you are in action to, of doing something that your life requires for yourself and it and i'm gonna lie it's a good feeling it, sh it should be because you are now consumed with yourself and not this person like because they live in life honey they live in that shit although the energy is like i love this bitch she she my queen i can't stop thinking about her i'm so sad and miserable without her I'm, i have no color to my flower i have no color to my life i'm black and white right now and are uh, you being freak freak hoe but but nasty naked up here like oh i want oh shove his face in there or oh i want to get a taste of that motherfucking 
that cookie. <sighs> They're like in turmoil and sad and whatever else. So the energy has to be redirected on both parties. Um, y'all gotta, y'all gotta. I, I ain't gonna say try to break the con the tele the telepathic connection, but um. It would redirect them as well if you are finding things that consume you a little more versus the connection. It, it will redirect their energy as well to be more healthier for themselves. Because like I said, this person is not ready for go time to me. They look at you as being the wife, the mother of their child, their, their the father of their child. They look at you as being that, but their energy is still like stuck on they just stagnant they're stuck so throw this person into their their journey of what they're supposed to do by throwing yourself into yours and doing what the fuck you're supposed to be doing out here and represent represent okay sorry to stop you know the reading or just you know once again i know i'm like kind of veering off but anyways hmm doing too much <laughs> i love you guys thank you i hope this resonates hop on my comments um oh yeah also uh, participate in the zodiac's favorite position um survey just share your shit y'all <laughs> share yourself but i love you guys take care bye